what's growing on. Been planting this bed. Look at that fig tree, it's doing really good. And uh, been starting to weed out all the grass out of the beds. Got a good amount of wildflowers. Bamboos are doing really good. This bamboo just poked up over the fence since last time I was here. It was really short, like the two at the base. And now it's just barely popping over the fence. This is a really wonderful bamboo. You can do so much with it. Compost pile's got a new load of biochar and some more cardboard, making the most fertile soil. We've got a hugo culture started over here. Peach tree needs a little bit of campfire ash and some sulfur. Comfrey plants under here are doing good after transplanting, and the banana. Damn, the banana got all scratched up. But that was the banana. Hopefully it comes back. We'll see. I might need to put a chicken cage around it. Anyways, food forest update. We got to plant a lot. There's a lot going on. The Bermuda grass, if you're not on it every day, will really take over. So just think of it as your primary chop and drop in this climate. While you're building stuff is like a carbon sink. And then you got to get more nitrogen fixers and wood chips. Um, I could solve all the grass problem by adding wood chips. And then I've been collecting rocks, so every time I go out I get big flat rocks. I try to get ones with fossils in it, just because then it makes your garden beds just that much cooler looking, if that makes sense. So super fun. Lots of flowers, lots of seeds. Um, there should be a lot more broccoli and stuff, but our, our uh, moonflower, Datura, is doing really well. It's got a tremendous amount of beautiful flowers. And they're closing up right now, but when I first got here today, they were all full bloom. Anyways, peach tree and the plum tree are doing good over there. The rose is doing well right there. All these kinds of daisies are doing good. The three grape vines over there are doing really good, and the bamboos are doing good. And the, gra the grass is doing great, so that's going to be our main chop and drop, clear it up. Definitely as I finish up rocking it out, it'll rock a lot more because it'll encapsulate and then, then I can make each one of these a compost bed. Yeah. Aloha.